So we were discussing this article last time, the recovery of India economic growth in the Nehru era by P. Balakrishnan. Well, we discussed something about Mahalanobis model and we stopped at the point where there was the criticism of Mahalanobis model. And one of the criticism of for Mahalanobis model was the alternative development path. Because Mahalanobis model was saying that you in capital goods sector, mein, basic industries, mein, heavy goods sector, ke andar, jada investment allocation kariye. because when the heavy goods sector will तो वो और जो कंजम्पशन गुड सेक्टर है कंज्यूमर गुड सेक्टर है उसको भी बढ़ाएगा बट देयर वाज एन अल्टरनेटिव पाथ फॉर डेवलपमेंट व्हिच वाज शोन बाय वकील एंड ब्रह्मानंद अकॉर्डिंग टू देम द थ्रस्ट शुड बी ऑन द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द वेज गुड सेक्टर सो वकील ब्रह्मानंद का वेज गुड्स मॉडल सो दिस इज व्हाट वी वांट टू डिस्कस टुडे इट वोंट बी कंप्लीटेड इन दिस रिकॉर्डिंग and there are few things which i'm taking it from outside because uh, it is not properly given in the reading wakil ramanand module or plan there was that was the wage goods model wage goods model Wage goods, kya hai? wage goods are those goods which the workers might buy. Very simplistically speaking. Jaise ki maan lije, consumption goods, consumer goods. So, jo bhi common log buy kar rahe hai, jaise ki food, sugar, cloth, milk, fish, rice, soap, etc. All of these. These are wage goods. Non-wage goods kya hai? Jo ki rentier buy kar raha hai, अपने प्रॉफिट से या रेंट से या इंटरेस्ट से वो नॉन वेज गुड्स हैं उसको सिंपल भाषा में जैसे कैपिटल गुड्स या इन्वेस्टमेंट गुड्स कहा जाएगा सो वेज गुड्स आर दोस वेज गुड्स आर दोस गुड्स विच द वर्कर्स माइट बाय with wages they are getting in simple terms uh, the consumption goods or the goods which the con which the common person is buying for example uh, food sugar cloth milk soap matchbox etc etc right simple thing their argument was that there is a wage goods gap in the country wage goods gap is they are saying that the amount of the goods which are required, amount of the wage goods which are required, and the amounts of the wage goods which is supplied, they are not same. Amount of the wage goods which is required is more, and the amount of the wage goods which is supplied is less. So there is the excess demand for the wage goods, and you do not have the enough supply. So problem kya hai? Agar hai bhi, to bhi kya hai? Wage goods gap hai bhi, to bhi kya farak pad gaya? वो ये कहते थे कि वेज गुड्स गैप के होने की वजह से हमारी कंट्री में अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट और डिसगाइज्ड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट है उनका ये मत था कि आप जैसे कि कोई भी पब्लिक वर्क करते हैं रूरल एरियाज के अंदर आपने नई एम्प्लॉयमेंट क्रिएट करी है उस एम्प्लॉयमेंट के लिए जो लोग आपने एम्प्लॉय करे हैं उनको डेफिनेटली वेज गुड्स भी चाहिए होंगे उनको ये कंज्यूमर गुड्स चाहिए होंगे लेकिन आप तो सारी की सारी इन्वेस्टमेंट कैपिटल गुड्स सेक्टर के अंदर कर रहे हैं तो इन वेज गुड्स को कौन बनाएगा और क्योंकि कंट्री में वेज गुड्स इनफ नहीं है तो इन लोगों को यह वेज गुड्स कौन प्रदान करेगा तो इसलिए एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी सस्टेन नहीं हो सकती देखिए देयर इज दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग ऑल टुगेदर वेदर इट कुड बी क्रिटिसाइज्ड और नॉट एंड इट विल बी क्रिटिसाइज्ड right but the point i'm just giving you the gist of the argument so what they were saying is that there is a wage goods gap right 
and they are saying that this wage goods gap is responsible. Right, for unemployment. In country like India, right? They are saying this. And they are saying that why, and why do we think that this is creating unemployment in the country like India? They're saying that the, you, you want to have the employment, you, you create new employment in the country. I mean, government gets into some kind of public works uh, and uh, some amount of new employment is being created. Uh, but, and you would also require these people whom you have employed, they would be requiring wage goods. But most of your investment has actually gone into the production of capital goods sector, according to Mahala Nobis model. So who will provide them with the wage goods? So the employment which you have created that cannot be sustained, because employment cannot be sustained, it will result in unemployment and disguised unemployment. That's an idea, right? So, and they're saying this, they, they actually say this, that this, and how is this wage goods gap could be filled up? It can be filled up by expanding the capacity to produce wage goods. To produce wage goods. Right. So they say this, that this multiplier mechanism, it cannot work in the absence of the wage goods. That is absolutely not possible. You cannot, what Vakil and Brahmanand, uh, uh, they are saying that you want multiplier process to work. It cannot work in the absence of the expansion of the wage goods sector. That's not possible, right? And you need employment because that employment is going to create income that income generation is going to reduce poverty, which is very important for the country like India, right? So removal of poverty and economic growth is very important and that would be possible if you create employment and that employment could be sustained if you fill this wage goods gap. This wage goods gap could be filled up if you expand the productive capacity, which is going to help in the production of wage goods. It's an idea, right? Uh, so, and why do you think that there is a deficiency in the supply of wage goods? Why there is uh, uh, the wage goods gap? Because yes, you are producing capital according to Mahala Nobis model, but they are saying that every kind of capital which you are creating, that is not helpful in the, uh, in the production of the wage goods. Uh, capital bohat si tariko ki ho sakti. अब वो कैपिटल जो कि वेज गुड्स के एक्सपेंशन के लिए यूज हो वो तो ठीक है लेकिन वो कहते हैं कि अगर आप मोस्टली उसी कैपिटल पे ध्यान दे रहे हैं जो कि हेवी गुड्स इंडस्ट्रीज को डेवलप कर रही है तो हमारे वेज गुड सेक्टर का क्या होगा क्योंकि डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ दैट काइंड ऑफ कैपिटल है जो कि वेज गुड्स को बना सकती है अगर आप वेज गुड्स गैप को फिल अप नहीं करोगे उस तरह की कैपिटल को बना के अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रहेगी लोगों की इनकम नहीं बढ़ेगी इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ कम होगी पॉवर्टी को रिमूव करना मुश्किल होगा दैट वाज देयर आर्गुमेंट राइट सो दे से दिस दैट फॉर द रिमूवल ऑफ पॉवर्टी एंड द सस्टेनेबिलिटी ऑफ इकोनॉमिक ग्रोथ व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज यू कांट जस्ट focus on the heavy goods industrialization you will have to focus also on the uh, on the development of capital for the wage goods sector right uh, so what their argument was that for removal of poverty for removal of poverty An increase in economic growth 
right? Just focusing on capital is not enough. Just focusing on capital stock is not enough. You will have to focus on the, uh, the wage goods sector also. Not only that, they also put a lot of stress on the uh, growth of agricultural sector. growth of agricultural sector and other wage goods sector. Because these are the goods which are being demanded by common man. In your country, there is a lot of labor. If you want to employ them, you have to develop this sector also. right? They, they emphasize a lot of stress on the growth of the agricultural sector and the wage goods sector. And this was their criticism. Vakil Brahmanan's criticism was that you, by following Mahalanobis model, you are not focusing much on the agricultural sector. We'll see whether their criticism is right or not, but that was one of their criticism, right? So, and they say that that if you if you actually develop wage good sector, you can solve the problem of unemployment and disguised unemployment in the country like India. There are a few arguments in favor of the wage goods also. I mean, yes, economic growth can be self-sustaining in case if you develop uh, wage goods, good, right? And uh, one, you do not have to, um, see, in order to develop the capital goods sector, you would also need to import machinery initially. Hmm? But in order to develop the, the wage goods sector, maybe you do not need to import such a huge and expensive machinery. You would need it. But it is not going to put a lot of strain on the uh, balance of payments, on the foreign exchange reserves, right? And because your country will have some kind of comparative advantage in some kind of wage goods, and, and if you develop that, you can earn foreign exchange also. That was their arguments. Uh, that was their argument. And if you develop the agricultural sector, which is one of the sector which is providing the raw materials to the other sector, then economic growth again could be self-sustaining. So, what arguments were there? They were saying that economic growth is self-sustaining. You will develop the agricultural sector, you will develop the wage goods sector, you will develop the raw material in the other sectors. Ko. So, growth will become self-sustaining. It will give kind of a circulating capital. Then they say that this thing ki bhi sambhavna hai ki aapko bahut heavy machinery ko shayad import na karna pade to aapke foreign exchange reserves pe bahut zyada strain nahi padega teesri baat wo ye kehte hain ki ho sakta hai aapki country mein kuch goods ki comparative advantage ho aap agar un goods ko produce karte hain aur un goods ko export karne ki cheshta karte hain usse aapko ye fayda hoga ki aapko ek valuable foreign exchange milega that is a good thing that's what they are trying to say so these were, uh, and of course, wage goods sector may bohut se log employ ho sakte hai, and this will create the employment in the, in the economy and hence growth again will be helpful. There are some arguments against the wage goods. I will talk about the arguments against wage goods in detail in the next recording, but I kuch arguments. Bata tha. You are saying that wage goods sector is going to provide employment to the people. But that employment could also be there in the heavy goods industrialization. Why do we have to focus so much only on the wage goods sector employment? It can heavy goods industrialization. In some way, people can work in some way. What is the problem? Uh, wage goods should be produced for produce capital goods. Why do you want to do this? Why do you want to do this? और कैपिटल गुड्स के ऊपर ज्यादा ध्यान देने से आप दोनों तरीके की इंडस्ट्रीज को डेवलप कर सकते हैं ना ही सिर्फ वेज गुड्स 
की इंडस्ट्री को इवन हेवी गुड्स इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन ये आर्ग्यूमेंट्स अगेंस्ट वेज गुड्स मॉडल दे आर सेइंग दैट यू फोकस मोर ऑन द वेज गुड्स वकील एंड भमर बट द द क्रिटिक्स दे से दैट इफ यू डेवलप द इफ इफ यू गिव मोर एलोकेशन ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट टुवर्ड्स द कैपिटल गुड्स सेक्टर तो इस बात की संभावना ज्यादा है दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डेवलप बोथ काइंड्स ऑफ सेक्टर्स नॉट जस्ट हैवी गुड्स इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन because that kind of capital could also be created which will be helpful in the production of the consumer goods sector or in the expansion of the consumer goods sector right uh, so and you, why are you thinking that agriculture is the source of the disguised unemployment isliye wahan se log nikal ke hum aur kisi wage goods sector mein dale jayenge even with if you develop agricultural sector then agricultural sector itself can provide employment or a productive employment to the people so these are few very basic uh, arguments against wage goods model but we will look at what uh, p balakrishnan has to say in terms of the criticism of the wage goods model in the next report right thank you beta